Okay, we are going over example problems from the chapter one test retake assignments. And in this video, we are going to go over equations with like terms. These are not the exact same problems that you'll see on your retake assignment, but they're very similar. So hopefully this will help you get moving on those. We're gonna work the problems. We're also gonna annotate um, our steps. And then I'll show you how you can check and make sure that our solutions are correct. So let's go ahead and get started on number three here. So I want to get this X by itself. Before I get started though, I wanna look for like terms that are on the same side of the equal sign. So let me draw my line so that I'm separating my two sides of the equation. On the left hand side here, what I'm seeing is I have a three and a 2x. Now, are those like terms, 3 and 2x? They are not. In order to be like terms, they both have to have the same variable, and this one does not have an x, or they both have to have no variable. So 3 and 2x are not like terms. However, 3 and negative 7 are like terms. Neither of them have x's in them. So we are going to combine those two things together into a single term. So I'm thinking to myself, what is three minus seven? That is negative four. So three and negative seven combined to become negative four. Let's bring down the rest of our equation. The two X didn't go any place. We could not combine it with anything. And we've got a four over here. Let's make sure we don't have anything else that we can combine. Is negative four and two X like terms? This one does not have an X and this one does, so they are not like terms. We cannot combine those. Now, what about the negative four and the four? Are those like terms? The answer is yes, they are like terms, but we cannot combine them because they're on different sides of the equal sign. So you cannot combine across an equal sign. So even though these are like terms, we can't do anything to combine them. So there are no more like terms for us to combine it's time to go ahead and start solving this. So we're gonna to work to get that X by itself. Right now we've got a four that's subtracting and a two that's multiplying. Let's take care of addition and subtraction first. The opposite of subtracting four is to add four. We'll cancel that negative four and make it go away. But when we're solving, we have to do the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. So I'm putting a plus four over here as well. Negative four plus four, those cancel. What I'm left with is a positive 2x. Bring down my equal sign, and over here I have 4 plus 4, which is 8. We almost have x by itself. Right now, x is being multiplied by 2. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2. So we'll divide by 2 on both sides. 2s will cancel here. And now we have an x all by its lonesome. Equal sign comes down. 8 divided by 2 is 4. x equals 4. I think that's my solution, but we'll come back and check in a moment. Let's go ahead and annotate our problem. So what do we do in our first step here? Well, this first step is where we combine this 3 and this negative 7 together. So we combined like terms. And I'm going to make a note to how I did that. I did 3 minus 7, and that gave me negative 4. All right, that got me to right there. What did I do in my next step? Uh, we added 4 on both sides, and our reason was we were trying to get rid of this negative 4. So get rid of negative 4, and we did that by doing plus 4 on both sides. In our final step, we got rid of this two that was in front of the X. We did that by dividing by two on both sides. So we got rid of the two, dividing by two on both sides. Before we move on, let's take a moment and check and make sure that we got the correct solution. So I'm gonna go back to my original equation and I'm gonna rewrite it exactly as it is, except when I get to this X, I'm gonna leave that out and put a blank parenthesis in its place. So the equation was three 
plus 2x, I left the x out, minus 7 equals 4. And in place of that x, we're going to put the value we think x is. I think it's 4. I hope it's 4. So let's simplify. I'll know that my answer is correct solution if we get the same number on both sides. I need, just need to simplify this side and keep my fingers crossed that we get a 4. So let's do it. Um, PEMDAS tells us multiplication comes before addition or subtraction. So let's do this 2 times 4 first. It's a positive 2 times a positive 4. That's a positive 8. And we'll bring down the 3 and the negative 7. All right. 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. Look, guys, we got the same number on both sides of the equation. That means our solution checks out, and we are happy. All right, let's do one more of these. And we'll start with the same kind of idea. Let me draw my line down to separate the two sides of my equation. All right, so I am looking to see if I have any like terms on this side of the equation. And I do see a 2n and a 6n. Those both have n's, so we can combine them together. Now, we can't combine them with the 6 because it doesn't have an n, but these two do have n's. Let's put them together. 2n and 6n come together to give us 8n. And we'll bring down that plus 6 and the equals and the 22. So plus 6 equals, and then 22 comes down. So there's our first step. Is there anything else for us to combine here? I'm not seeing anything. So let's go on to our next step. Well, we want to start working to solve this. So I need to get rid of this 8 and this plus 6. The 8 is multiplying, the 6 is adding. Usually we do addition and subtraction first. So what's the opposite of plus 6? That would be minus 6. So let's do minus 6 on both sides. Plus 6 minus 6 cancels. That leaves us just with the 8n on this side. Equals 22 minus 6 is 16. All right, we almost have that n by itself. We just need to get rid of that 8. That 8 is multiplying by the n, so we will divide by 8. Multiply by 8, divide by 8. Those are opposites. They'll cancel. So let's divide by 8 on both sides. 8 divided by 8, those will cancel, leaving us with just 1n. Bringing down our equals, we have 16 divided by 8, which is 2. So I think my answer is n equals 2, but we're going to check that solution in just a moment. Before we do, let's go ahead and annotate what did we do in this problem. We started by combining like terms. And when we did that, we had a 2n and a 6n that we combined together to give us 8n. That got us to that step there. From there, we had an 8n and a plus 6. We got rid of the plus 6. We did that by doing minus 6 on both sides. That got rid of the 6 and got us to here. What do we do here? We divided by 8 on both sides. That was to get rid of the 8. So we divided by 8 on both sides. And that got us to our final solution there. Um, let's check that solution, though, and just make sure we didn't make any mistakes. So I want to rewrite my original equation, but I'm going to leave out all of the n's. So 2n, but I left the n out, plus 6, plus 6n, there's another n that I left out, equals 22. In place of those n's, I'm going to put the value that I think n is. I think n is 2, so let's put it in here and here. We'll go ahead and simplify this side. Hopefully we'll match up, and it'll equal 22. Um, PEMDAS says multiplication comes first. So 2 times 2 is 4. 6 times 2 is positive 12. I'll go ahead and bring down my 6. 
Uh, what do we have here? It's all addition. So 4 plus 6 is 10, and 10 plus 12 is 22. And we got the same number on both sides. That means that our solution is correct. Okay, that is a terrible smiley face. That's a little better. All right, uh, in the next video, we're going to go over equations with variables on both sides. That'll be the next video on the playlist.